hello 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 everyone and welcome back to my channel yes i'm finally gonna be brining my turkey so i get a lot of questions about brining believe it or not a lot of people do not know what that really entails um you know i've had people say to me i marinate but i didn't know how to brine how do you brine well you know i'm going to show you today how to brine because brining is the secret to tasty to the bone meat roasted chicken roasted turkey um you know i'm not sure about red meat because i don't really eat red meat but yes you go for it when it comes to like turkey and roasted chicken so the ingredients I'm going to use to brine my chicken today are, I'm going to use about a gallon of apple cider, um, two tablespoonfuls of salt, a third cup of sugar, one teaspoonful peppercorn, one cinnamon stick, a teaspoonful pimento berries, half teaspoonful of cloves, and a half a teaspoon of allspice, one head garlic, one onion, one lemon, one orange, uh, two pieces of ginger sliced, uh, one sprig of rosemary, two sprigs of thyme, and four leaves of sage. Let's get started. Okay, so here is my pot that I'm going to start the brining process in. So it's on the stove, and I'm going to just go ahead and pour in like four cups of the apple cider. And I'm going to go ahead and toss in the chopped onions, rough chopped, don't have to be perfect. Then I'm putting in the peppercorn, ginger, pimento, pimento berries, a stick of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of allspice, half a teaspoon of cloves, don't need a lot. My, my turkey is very small. We are quarantining. There's one ingredient I did not tell you about, and that is the bay leaves. I forgot to mention that. I'm going to put about four bay leaves. I'm going to put um, my salt, and I'm using the pink Himalayan salt. So I'm just going to put a tablespoonful of salt. Can always add but you don't want to be able to you can't take away so and I'm just gonna let that come to a low boil I'm actually gonna add in my thyme my rosemary and my sage and I think that is it I'm gonna add those in and let those come to a low boil stir that up let it come to a low boil and I'll come back and show you what else I'm gonna be adding Okay guys, I forgot my sugar as well, a third a cup of sugar. And that is it for oh, my garlic as well. Wow, I'm skipping, I'm skipping my garlic. So I'm gonna let that come to a nice low boil. And let everything start loving on themselves in that pot. And then I'll come back and show you what's going on. Okay guys, so my brine came to a low boil and I have removed it from the heat and now I've got to get it all the way cold. So I'm gonna dunk some ice, some ice cubes in that. I have to get some more. Okay, so I'm putting approximately eight cups of ice to cool this bad boy down. While that is cooling down, I'm gonna show you what I do with my turkey before I submerge it in the brine. And there she goes, as I said, it's a small turkey because it's only for about four, four to six people. So what I normally do after I washed it with lemon and um, vinegar, I would go through with a spatula and, and I would just kind of make some, just kind of space in the breast lift the skin and later you will see the reason why I'm doing that because once I'm the branding process is finished and I'm stuffing the chicken the bird the turkey then you really want to go up in the air with the stuffing in the breast so right now I'm making room for that to happen so you gently you don't want to you don't want to um, fracture the skin so you gently push under 
sometimes you can use your hand and get it done better but you get the idea you gently push under here just to separate the skin from the breast okay and then what I'm going to do is um, submerge the bird in right my my um my brine is cold enough so I'm gonna go over here to the sink hopefully you can see what I'm doing and I'm gonna pour this pot of brine so I'm going to be putting the, the turkey in the pot first and I normally go breast down so it can you know that's the uh, meatiest part of the bird and, and now I'm just going to go ahead and pour all of that goodness over on the turkey and guys make sure you, you taste your brine make sure you taste it to make sure it's um tasty okay if you need to add more salt or sugar you can go ahead and do that I'm also going to be dropping in um, one fresh orange slice in the same pot that I'm going to be brining the chicken the um, I keep saying chicken the turkey one lime and one orange going in the pot as well then I'm going to pour some more apple fresh apple cider on top of it on top of that all of that just to make sure everything is properly covered and then once that is done let me try and get it out here so you can see it's a big pot once that is done you um, just leave it submerged and leave it in there for however long. I'm going to be um, brining this for about 48 hours. There it is. Go close so you can see. That bird is in there with all that goodness. Okay? And I'm going to let it stay there for 48 hours. You can do 24, you can do 48. I'm a little early. My turkey thawed out a little bit earlier than expected. So yes, it's going to be brining for about 48 hours. So I'll come back and show you how I'm going to be roasting it, marinating and roasting it, okay? All right, guys, so my turkey is tightly sealed, and I'm, now I'm going to put it in the refrigerator, okay? I'll come back and show you what's going on once I'm ready to marinate and to roast this bad boy.